to introduce our announcer, Ms. Saka Poet, Zura Zebra. I don't know if I spell your name correctly. So you can introduce yourself. Canadian version Zora Zuberi, the real one Zora Zuberi. <laughs> it means planet Venus or morning light, so I'm glad my parents gave me that name. Um, I have a very, very important message to deliver today, and uh, PK Page, I dedicated to her. PK Page ke naam ek aman ka peram, aur ap sab ke naam ek aman ka peram. So that is message of peace. It's titled Twin Towers, and I hope that each one of you will speak to at least one other person in your life about this. Awestruck, before I start, uh, usually I end up crying when I read this poem, and I will try my best today not to do so. This will be the first time. Awestruck, I shivered and shriveled into my sofa. Tears rolled, in, rolled down to my neck as I watched in disbelief. Panic-stricken executives running for survival, raging police cars, spent speeding ambulances, the ominous ugly cloud that choked not only the humans in that bustling city, but all humanity. Oh God, let this not be the work of the people of my faith, which taught me nothing but love and peace. Night after nine to the challenge night after night to the challenge of insomnia I rose my fingers nervously flipping channels, if only I had the power to change the channel of violence that escalated. I beseeched, Allah, Khuda, Yahweh, Bhagwan, are you not one and the same? Can you hear me lament in the middle of the night? I cried for the American mother, whose son vanished in the towering inferno. I could feel the pain for an Afghan woman suffocating in burqa. I also wept for young minds being purchased in exchange for a few morsels. In vain were my laments. Destruction, counter-destruction, the new world order. Repercussions linger, yet another war. Images across the ocean of innocent children running for shelter, dodging weapons from above. Lost for answers in my restlessness, I travel back in time to reflect upon the day I had said goodbye to my loved ones sweeping thousands of miles behind. Just one suitcase, a few jewels of a newlywed, fistful of strong values from the East, the prized possession I had brought along, the initial days I would sadly recall, lonely Christmas holidays I spent secretly sobbing, envying the family gatherings of all of my colleagues. In the new homeland I had chosen, unable to attend my brother's wedding. For my father's surgery, I could not be by his side. Adapt to adopt and adapt. I remained adamant, continued to weigh the trade-offs. Soon I blended in. I was happy, proud. Three decades of training myself, my offspring, passing on to him the moral values from the two cultures, best of both worlds, East and West, a fine process of combining, retaining, rejecting, upholding, that balancing act I so enjoyed. Stories of Prophet Muhammad, Moses, and Jesus we shared, visited Gurdwaras with my Sikh friends, attended Jewish and Buddhist ceremonies, celebrated Hindu Diwali festivals, learned to sing Christmas carols with such abundant joy. On that morning, my dream of a unified, peaceful existence shattered. Sorry about that. Yet another ugly turn by humans imminent. The stereotyping hard to escape. Misunderstandings would abound, compound. What about millions of peace-loving people I speak for? What about my twin towers of values that took decades to build? The torch my parents passed on to me since age three so vividly imprinted on my mind the story of our prophet, how someone tossed garbage upon him daily as he passed by. But the day she, cho he cho she chose to refrain, out of concern he stopped to check the well-being of his offender. And now he's depicted and defamed through cartoons. When the clock turned nine on that ominous day, 
It wasn't only precious lives lost, a faith hijacked, humanity swindled, a small brown chip. How could one separate me from this colorful mosaic? Confined to living room whispers, our apprehensions and fears remained concealed. Who defines we and they and why? Aren't we all, we, human beings, in the interest of humanity, we must safeguard ourselves together. Thank you very much.